If you have a dog that eats really fast or you just want to enrich your dog a little bit while they are eating, I have a bowl that you definitely need to be paying attention to. I've done reviews on this before, as well as other types of slow feeders and puzzle feeders and snuffle feeders. This one is probably my favorite to use with my dogs. And that is for two very specific reasons. It does have this honeycomb effect with it. It is silicone and it's soft silicone. So when your dog goes to eat it, they're not gonna hurt their nose or their teeth as they're kind of pressing against this silicone. But the things that make it my favorite, or at least my favorite right now, is that this hexacon honeycomb look is kind of deep. It is definitely a deeper bowl. I got the medium size as opposed to the small size. So it fits a lot of food. In fact, it fits my dog's entire meal in one. If you've watched my other review videos, my slow feeders do not fit their entire meals. It fits like half of their meals and I have to use two of them to give that food to my dog. This fits everything and has room. Like I don't have to worry about it. So it's nice and deep. And that means that my dog is going to have to really work for it, but not get frustrated with it. So they have to get down there. They have to get their tongues in there to really scoop out the rest of that food. And that makes them work for it. It's very enriching. It's very engaging. It's going to slow them down. It's going to make them take a little bit more time. But because it's all open, it's not like they're going to get frustrated with this. Sometimes when I'm using slow feeders or puzzle feeders or snuffle feeders, they have to go under things. They have to figure out how to get around smaller sections. The little swirly things that I have or the different patterns can be really hard to get their tongues into for my medium-sized dogs. And it can be a little frustrating, especially for Lucy. And sometimes she'll pull on some of them and she'll get frustrated and she'll kind of, you can tell she's frustrated. With this one, she doesn't have to get frustrated because it's deep but it's also very open. So she has the ability to see all the food. She can get her tongue in there without stressing out too much. It takes her time. It takes her effort. She has to sometimes think about it. Sometimes she has to find the little pieces of food that she misses. So she still gets all the engagement and enrichment, but she doesn't get frustrated and she doesn't pull on it and she doesn't kind of toss it around because it's accessible. It just makes her work for it a little bit more. So I very much like this. It is a great silicone feeder. The color is also super pretty if you're taking pictures of your dog's food. And this is going to be a really good one. It does have one giant suction cup on the bottom, so it's not like super sticking to anything. But we've talked about how to make sure your dog feeders with those suction cups on the back do not stick to your counters while you're making them and then fly everywhere when you go to pick it up and knock everything flying. So I will link those videos for you down below. But we've got tons of slow feeder, puzzle, and snuffle feeder reviews here on the channel. Let me know which ones I should be looking at for future videos to help you make the best decisions for you. And join us every single day for episodes helping you level up for your pup to give them the best life possible with the least amount of stress on you and them. We'll see you then.